Yeah, we're looking at an Airblade branded Eagle Power S1103 8000 kV motor. This is a 3.6 gram motor, and at this kV we're testing on 2S. Our estimated kV for this test came out to 79, just about 79.70 kV, so super, super close to the uh, nameplate rating. This one is faring a lot better than the uh, higher KV version of the same motor. Uh, we're well over 50% uh, for our light two inch and we're just touching in the mid 50% efficiency band for our uh, heavy two inch, light two and a half inch range. Things are just starting to touch out for the uh, light three inch, uh, but with a bit of unloading, you, know, you might see some uh, low 60% efficiency out of this. It's not the best choice uh, with how, how uh, small this motor is and you could definitely find worse motors to uh, pair with a, a light three inch prop though this motor also tends to uh, favor even lighter loads than this light two inch uh, prop load that we have so theoretically if you could find a prop with uh, about half the torque load of this uh, dys 2030 prop uh, you'd be down uh, right near the peak efficiency of the motor in terms of thrust on this uh, light 3 inch, we're looking at about 137 grams. On the heavy 2 inch, we're seeing 97. And on our light 2 inch, we're seeing about 89 grams of thrust. And this is super fun. If we compare it with our King Kong uh, reference 1103 motor, uh, they are almost identical. The uh, King Kong, all of the, the bands of the King Kong falling within a couple percent of where we're seeing them on this Airblade Eagle Power. And uh, from here on out, I'll probably use this Eagle Power uh, version of the, the motor as the reference for this size class, uh, just because I have a, a larger band and a cleaner read uh, from the dyno run on this particular one. If we compare the full throttle traces, you can see just how close uh, the two are. They are dead over each other. The torque is identical all through the stuff, the all through the range. Uh, the efficiency bands are right on top of each other. Um, there's no distinguishing these motors from each other. 